Welcome again to Top Notch Kids TV. Today we are going to the heart of the forest to bring the story of Clara and Granny Willow. Relax and enjoy the exciting and fun-filled story. Once upon a time, in a little cottage at the edge of a vast and enchanting forest, lived a young girl named Clara and her grandmother, whom everyone affectionately called Granny Willow. Their home was simple, with walls adorned with handmade quilts and shelves lined with jars of preserves, each filled with love and care. The scent of fresh pine and wildflowers filled the air, making the cottage feel like a cozy embrace. Clara was a bright and imaginative child, always eager to explore the world around her. She loved the forest with its tall trees that seemed to touch the sky and its hidden paths that promised new adventures every day. Granny Willow, though old and frail, possessed a heart full of wisdom and a spirit that was as vibrant as the forest itself. She often joined Clara in her explorations, albeit at a slower pace, sharing stories and lessons with every step they took. Every morning, Clara and Granny Willow would sit on their worn wooden porch, watching the sun rise over the treetops. Granny Willow's stories were the highlight of Clara's day. She would tell tales of her own childhood, the magical creatures she had encountered in the forest, and the lessons she had learned from nature. Clara listened with wide-eyed wonder, absorbing every word like a sponge. One crisp autumn day, as the leaves turned a fiery red and gold, Clara and Granny Willow decided to venture deeper into the forest than they had ever gone before. Clara had heard rumors of a hidden glade, a place where the forest's magic was said to be the strongest. She was determined to find it. Do you think we'll really find the magical glade, Granny? Clara asked, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Granny Willow smiled, her eyes twinkling with a mix of nostalgia and mystery. The forest holds many secrets, my dear. Sometimes, it's not about finding magic, but about believing in it. With a basket filled with homemade bread and apple slices, they set off on their adventure. The forest was alive with the sounds of chirping birds and rustling leaves. Clara skipped along the path, her laughter echoing through the trees, while Granny Willow followed, her cane tapping rhythmically on the ground. As they walked, Granny Willow began to share one of her favorite stories. When I was a little girl, just about your age, I stumbled upon a tiny fairy trapped in a spider's web. She was so delicate and beautiful, with wings that shimmered like the morning dew. I carefully freed her, and in return, she gave me a blessing, a promise that the forest would always protect me. Clara's eyes widened. Did you ever see the fairy again, Granny? Granny Willow chuckled softly. Not in the same way, but I feel her presence in the forest. Every time a breeze rustles the leaves or a bird sings a sweet song, I remember her. They continued their journey the path becoming narrower and the trees denser. After a while, they reached a small clearing where a sparkling stream flowed gently. They decided to rest there, enjoying their simple picnic. As they ate, Clara noticed something glinting in the sunlight by the stream's edge. Curious, she walked over and discovered a small, intricately carved wooden box half buried in the soft earth. She picked it up and brought it to Granny Willow. Look what I found, Granny. Granny Willow examined the box, her eyes filled with curiosity. This is no ordinary box, Clara. It looks like it was crafted with great care and love. Let's see what's inside. With careful hands, they opened the box to reveal a beautifully woven bracelet made of silvery threads and tiny beads that sparkled like stars. Granny Willow gasped softly. This is a friendship bracelet, Clara. It's said that whoever wears it will always be connected to the forest and its magic. Clara's heart swelled with joy. 
She slipped the bracelet onto her wrist, feeling a warm, comforting sensation wash over her. Thank you, Granny. This is the most wonderful treasure I've ever found. They resumed their journey, the bracelet glittering in the sunlight. Clara felt a newfound connection to the forest, as if it were guiding them. They walked for hours, following paths that seemed to appear just for them. Eventually, they came upon a hidden glade, bathed in soft, golden light. The glade was everything Clara had imagined and more. Wildflowers of every color carpeted the ground, and a gentle breeze carried the sweet scent of blooming flowers. In the center of the glade stood an ancient oak tree, its branches reaching out like welcoming arms. Clara and Granny Willow sat beneath the tree, feeling a profound sense of peace and belonging. This place is magical, Granny, Clara whispered. Her voice filled with awe. Granny Willow nodded, her eyes misty with emotion. Yes, it is. And it's a place for those who believe in the magic of the forest, just like you do. As they sat there, Granny Willow shared another story, this time about the ancient oak tree. This tree is as old as the forest itself. It's said that it holds the memories of all who have visited this glade. If you listen closely, you can hear the whispers of their stories. Clara closed her eyes and listened. At first, she heard nothing but the rustle of leaves. But then, faintly, she began to hear soft murmurs, like distant voices sharing secrets and laughter. She smiled, feeling a deep connection to all the souls who had come before her. When the sun began to set, casting a warm, golden glow over the glade, Clara and Granny Willow knew it was time to head home. They left the glade with hearts full of joy and memories that would last a lifetime. As they walked back through the forest, Clara held Granny Willow's hand tightly. Thank you for sharing this adventure with me, Granny. I'll never forget today. Granny Willow squeezed Clara's hand gently. And I'll never forget it either, my dear. Remember, the magic of the forest is always with you. It's in your heart and in the stories we share. When they finally reached their little cottage, the stars were twinkling in the night sky. Clara felt a deep sense of contentment as she drifted off to sleep, the friendship bracelet still glinting on her wrist. From that day on, Clara and Granny Willow continued to explore the forest, discovering new wonders and sharing countless adventures. And though they lived humbly, their hearts were rich with the magic of the forest and the love they had for each other. Years later, Clara grew up and had children of her own. She would take them to the same forest, telling them stories of Granny Willow and the Hidden Glade. And just like her grandmother, she taught them to believe in the magic of the world around them, passing on the legacy of love, wonder, and connection. And so, the little cottage at the edge of the forest remained a place of warmth and enchantment, where the bond between a grandmother and her granddaughter continued to inspire and create stories for generations to come. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again, bye.